friends, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Meg. Thanks for joining in with me today. Today is so fun. I'm excited about this video. I'm going to be talking about five makeup products that I have used for five years or more. And we're not just talking things that like sit in a drawer and that I have, but things that I am using, things that I am continually using and that I love. Some are holy grail status products. This is exciting because makeup changes so much throughout the years and just even in a year there's so many new things that have entered the game you know and people are jumping ship and just have new favorites all the time myself included. So this is really fun to share some like tried and true favorites that I've loved for five years or more. So if you like those kinds of videos make sure you hit that thumbs up button hit the subscribe button and also make sure to follow along on social media where we can be friends. I post a lot of beauty content and snippets of my daily life, being a mom and my kids and stuff like that, especially on Instagram stories where you can find me daily. I would love to be your friend there. If you're into this kind of video, you want to see some tried and true makeup favorites, then just keep watching. I try to pick out some items that, again, like I'm continually using over and over again, or things that are holy grail that I've loved for a long time. So. I want to share a few of those with you. We'll just do a foundation type stuff first, and there are two that I just love. The first is my baby, Estee Lauder Double Wear. I have loved this foundation, I think, for basically just five years. I finally tried it five years ago after um, wearing Revlon Color Stay, which I do love and think is a great dupe. But then I tried this and I was like, where have you been all my life? You are my favorite thing. And it is still my favorite foundation. And the reason why I really love this, and I am 37 years old. I have a very normal to oily skin type. I live in a very humid climate. I'm in Houston, Texas. It is basically the devil's armpit down here. And I need things to stay put. This stays put. But I'm also closer to 40 than I am 30. So I really care about products that are not going to make me look older or settle into fine lines or just be too matte and the thing with this is like I feel like it's such a natural finish and you can sheer it out or build it up and it's just so perfect every single time when I wear it I'm continually amazed by it and there's just nothing like it I absolutely love it I actually think it's really good for all skin types I feel like there's a misconception that this is for like oily skinned people but I really feel like this can work for a lot of people especially if you mix it in with something if you're really really dry you can mix it with a moisturizer it's just a beautiful beautiful foundation. It's on my skin today and my skin always looks amazing when I use it. I love it. The second is a product that I feel like a lot of people love and it's just a cult favorite product as well. It's one of my favorites and it is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I do actually slightly prefer the matte version, matte oil-free version a little bit more but that has not been around. It's not been around for that long. Over a year maybe? I don't know. Anyway, I like this one. It's just a classic. However, the only thing that I do not care for for this is that the shade range is completely lacking. They released a new foundation with like 40 shades but they didn't update the shade range in this which makes me like why are you trying to start something new why can't you just make what you have that's like really good more accessible for everyone that's the one thing I'm like please let's just make more inclusive like it just makes so much sense to do that however it's a great product it is full coverage it has SPF 50 it never breaks me out I feel like it's such a wonderful product if you are on the oilier side you may prefer the matte oil free version more than this, but if you're kind of normal skin type dry, I think you'll really like this one if you've never tried it. I mean, I'm sure you've tried it. Like everybody's tried it, right? 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 All right, I've got a concealer. This is such an old school favorite. I recently picked it back up again and I'm like, wait a second, this concealer is so good. And it is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewrite. I can never say this. I feel like I've been saying this product for years and I can never say it. It is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser Treatment Concealer. Can we, what is with the drugstore and their long freaking names for products? It just drives me nuts. Anyway, I love uh, this concealer. I have the shade Brightener, which I think is great. If you just want a quick brightening under the eye, it's got a little bit of a pink tone to it. And then I also have the shade Fair, which is a, not that fair if I'm being quite honest, but it's just a wonderful full coverage. It just, it's so good. It has that little sponge tip applicator, which a lot of people don't love. I don't 
actually mind it all that much. I feel like it helps get the product on without using too much, which I really appreciate about the product. Like you're never overdoing it. And everyone overdoes their concealer, myself included. Like when you get those big doe foot applicators and slap it on, I feel like you're always applying way too much. I feel like this kind of prevents that from happening, but you still get the great coverage. This is such an old school favorite. It's so well loved. It's so perfect. And I love these concealers and clearly I'm almost out of this one. I want to go get another one. These are so good. Try it if you have not. They're so inexpensive and such good concealers at the drugstore. Oh, I did put the concealers on under my eyes today. I used the brightener first and then I put the um, fair on top of it and blended it all out, set it with some setting powder and my under eye area looks really great today. Okay, the fourth product today that we're gonna be talking about is this is a highlighter. It's on my cheek today. It's so blinding and so beautiful and it's been around forever and I feel like it doesn't get enough love nowadays. And it is the Balm Mary Luminizer. And I've been using this product for obviously five years. <laughs> this one I feel like I've used the longest. This one I've been using for probably eight years or so. It's really good. This one is it doesn't get enough love. It is not for everyone. It is very, very, very pale. If you are fair, light, light medium, this is going to be one that you're really going to enjoy. It's got an extremely bright reflective pigment. It's so blinding, as you can see here, this is like my good side. It's so blinding, so pretty on the skin. You can kind of go overboard with this. If you use too much, it does kind of might leave a little stripe because it is so pale. However, this is so good if you've never tried it. I still use it every now and then. I pull it out and I'm like, this is great. Why don't I use it more? It's a good thing. It's a good product. All right, here's the last product we're gonna be talking about. It is on my lips today, and this is such a great product, and I feel like I've been using this for probably, woo, at least seven years. A really long time. This is the NYX Butter Gloss. This is the shade Vanilla Cream Pie. It has got more of a pink tone to it, so it is a baby pink gloss that's not for everyone, but I think it's really fun on top of pink lipsticks to kind of give it something fun and springy or summery. I love pink lipsticks. They're fun to wear. I really, really enjoy these butter glosses. They're very glossy without ever feeling sticky. They smell really great. They come in so many different colors. My other favorite shade is Creme Brulee. It's a great neutral shade. This is just what I have right now. They're only $4.99. I feel like I like the size that they're a little smaller because I can go through them quicker and they don't go bad and they just sit in the drawer, you know? These are such wonderful products. If you've never tried them, give it a try. These are so good. And that's it. I feel like this is the shortest video I've ever made. <laughs> We've already blew through that real quick and that is five makeup products that I have used for five years or more. And I have to say, I believe this is the product that I have used the longest and I love it. And if you have never tried it, you must. Actually try all of these things if you've never tried it, but I'm sure a lot of you have. So I will continue to repurchase all of these things and I think that they're just great products that have withstood the test of time. I'd love to know, leave in the comments for me here. I'd love to know what you've been using for five years or more. Is there one part product in particular that you just keep repurchasing and it's just always won you over and withstood the test of time please let me know I would love to know so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed that um, again thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video bye <laughs>